Grandmother is going to be retiring soon, so I need to figure out a way of getting my own income. I have fears surrounding this, though. Um, I basically want to start my own business and don't know how. Also, I rely on disability money from Social Security, and I don't know how to do, like, wage reporting with them, especially with the type of income I would be getting. I have thought about selling clothing. There's, you know, reselling apps out there. That's not something that I can write down. Like, I work a certain amount of hours, get a certain amount of money per hour. I don't know how that would go. Um, basically, I think that my name here, I know it's showing up backwards, but it says Binary Bible. You can see she's got some craziness in her eyes. That's binary code. Um, I think Binary Bible is catchy, and it can mean a lot of different things. You can just imagine a Bible, a Bible written in all binary code. That's huge, and that's a good little image that gets stuck in your head. Just my thing is the Bible is a book of metaphors, and binary code is a computer language. So I'm mixing digital with metaphor, and it's really non-specific. So it can do anything. I could be Reselling vintage clothing. I could be a graphics editing company. It doesn't matter. Whatever I want to do. The name is catchy, but it's not really specific to anything except my own mind and the things that I think when I say Binary Bible. And other people have come up with their own sorts of meanings for it. And I think that's cool. I like having sort of a brand name that is it, it like transforms meaning from person to person it makes people think and i like that um but like i said it's the starting that i don't know how to do i understand a lot about business strategy like the week before a holiday a store will jack up its prices so then whoever's trying to be an early bird and shop beforehand before the sales they're actually getting a jacked up price. And then when the sales happen, well, actually the price is artificially inflated, so it's back to what it normally is, but people think they're getting a great deal. I also understand a bit about marketing and advertising. I don't understand how to get started. That's the problem. I took a business management course years ago, and I play business management games. And I know games are just games, but, I mean, come on. I, I'm still getting, like, the concept of managing business from business management games. So I understand business management. I just don't understand how to get started. And I need to. My grandmother's retiring. I need income. I need income. I don't think it's possible for me to make income through YouTube now with the new changes. I wanted to try and find a way through actually buying the rights to music and then making lyric music videos and having those monetized, but with the way the rules are now, I can't monetize my channel. Come on. Like, my first thing was I had wanted to do videos of myself doing like rap videos and rapping along to stuff and doing my own cover music. I can't do that anymore. And now the rules are so changed that because of the like statistics of my YouTube channel, I can't monetize because I don't have like a thousand subscribers. Well, I'm sorry. I've had a YouTube channel for years and only started utilizing it over the past year, but I I've never sat here and begged for subscribers and it, that's not me. That's not who I am. I don't want to beg for subscribers. I want my channel to grow naturally, you know? Not just subscribe to see more every time. I, I'm not like that. I can't be what I'm not. I'm too stuck on that. I've been a weirdo and an outcast for so long 
that going against the natural me to be what others want me to be is unnatural. It's just, I can't do it. I'll be the weirdo that nobody wants me to be because I don't know how to be anything else. But at the same time, eccentric weirdos happen to a lot of times be the ones who are very successful. We take extra risks. So why am I so stuck? I am an eccentric weirdo. I should be perfectly willing to take these risks. But I think not understanding how social security plays into this and not really being good at media management. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not that good at it. I don't organize my YouTube well. The things aren't tagged. They're not separated well. They're not uploaded into proper playlists like they should be. I'm not good at the media management part right now, you know. I just... Couple that with imposter syndrome, where I feel like uh, I can't like be capable of things, and the depression. It's just it's a recipe for disaster, and continuing to not be active is the worst thing I can do. I need to actually step up and do something. I'm just really terrified to to be honest. The whole adult world is a big, scary place to me. I know I'm 27, but I don't feel like it. I still feel like I'm on, like, summer break from school, and when September rolls around, I'm going to be getting on the bus. Or I mostly walk to and from school, but, you know. I just... I need to get started. I don't know how to get started. I don't know about the wage reporting. But I can't just keep... The amount I'm getting per month is bullshit. It's less than minimum wage. It's a lot less than minimum wage. I see documentaries about people on minimum wage who are using food banks and welfare and I'm like I'm getting less than minimum wage I am so fucking lucky to have my grandmother if not for her I would probably be homeless just truth right there if not for my grandmother I'd probably be homeless so I don't want to be continually taking from her I need to get my own fucking income I need to know how much I can make. I need to n learn how to use media better. And I need to figure out what I'm going to do and how to get it going. And how to start turning in profit the fastest. I think that buying vintage clothes in secondhand stores and reselling them could be good for me. I've got an eye for fashion. I don't always like dressing myself up. But when I do, I get outfit on point type of comments like hella and it just seems like that would be a good way to turn a profit pretty quickly because I know small businesses it generally takes like six months to start turning a profit but if all I'm really doing is reselling cool vintage clothes I could start turning a profit on day one very little overhead. I I mean... <laughs> I don't know. I gotta do something. I gotta do something. And I feel like the... Buying vintage clothes and reselling them bit... Would probably be... The best for me time constraint wise... I can pretty easily find cool stuff in thrift stores. I, again, I have an eye for fashion. I've done plenty of fashion design too. I just don't know how to make my designs turn into patterns and turn into clothes. But that would be a lot more difficult trying to like come up with my own clothing design company. I would need overhead. I would need a lot of capital for startup. But reselling secondhand vintage clothes that I've properly washed in non-allergenic, hypoallergenic things, 
package them up, send them out. I could very easily turn the space under my bed into a workspace for that very, very easily. Especially as my loft bed has those little bars, it's metal. Hello, instant bars to hang clothes on. I could have like three closets worth of clothes under my bed at any point in time if I wanted to. So I don't know, that might be a good way for me to start this. I'm gonna put that in my notes pretty much. But, um, yeah. Anyone else out there kind of feel like they need to contribute more in their family and feeling guilty about it? Let me know. I want to know. I'm not the only one.